page, core, and valence electrons. Now, this is going to be very important, especially when we think about valence electrons. And um, so let's do an example. And this example is going to be a fluorine atom. And what you should understand or be starting to understand by now is that we are doing electron configurations because you will need to know how to do the electron configuration for many other parts of the class coming up. So that's why you'll see a bunch of them on the homework. And then we use the electron configuration to do other things like this. So fluorine atom is going to have its electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. And the valence electrons are going to be defined as all electron config all electrons, excuse me, with the highest value of n. Where n is the principal energy level. And here we have n equals 2 is the highest value of the principal energy level. And so a fluorine atom has 7, so fluorine atom, 7 valence electrons. And core electrons are going to be all other electrons. So core electrons, all other electrons. So, and we're not too worried about counting them. There are just two core electrons for a fluorine atom. But what about for a, um, let's do a calcium atom. A calcium atom has 20 electrons. We can do the electron configuration. And I've got my periodic table right here. Here's calcium. It's going to be in the 4s area. So we know that that's where the last electrons are going to be. So uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3p6, 4s2. And uh, the highest value of n is n equals 4. And calcium atom has two valence electrons and 18 core electrons. And we really care about valence electrons because valence electrons are going to be the ones that participate in bonding. They're also the farthest out, remember? So we have n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4. The n equals 4 electrons are farthest from the nucleus. That's why they're going to be the easiest to have react, because they're farthest from the nucleus, they're most easily lost, and they're most easy to bump into other things because they're on the outside of the atom.